Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Leos? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're going to look into your situation and see exactly what's going on in regards to love and romance. Spirits, what are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month remaining of April 2021? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see. Oof, we got cards popping out. One more. Okay, I said one more and I went twice. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Leo, your card is the star card. So this is the energy that you're going to be embracing or that you're going to be vibrating to. The star card is that of being inspired. It is that of destiny. It is of the planet alignments aligning to assist you in bringing to you a committed relationship, a relationship that you've been either hoping or waiting for. Uh, star card can also represent Aquarian type of energy. Keep in mind, we are experiencing the Aquarian era. So again, uh, this could really be empowering uh, when it comes to your love life, Leo. Now, the card that is representing the person that's coming in or the person of your interest is the Ace of Wands. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person from the past that was in Aquarius, uh, letting go or removing yourself, detaching yourself from that type of energy. Uh, for some, it could be the conclusion of that and entering a new beginning and a new cycle. Um, now, in regards to the person of your interest or that you're going to be dealing with at the end of the month is uh, fire energy. This is a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo like yourself. Uh, the Ace of Wands, though, I feel that this is a new beginning for the majority of you guys. So this could be, uh, if you are in a relationship, it could just represent that you guys are elevating your relationship. There is a renewal of passion, of desire. But for the majority, I'm hearing there is new love coming towards you. And it's going to come uh, sooner than you're expecting or sooner than you thought. Uh, maybe in the past. You were hopeful about love, but not really uh, consumed or concerned about it. It's like you were more on a path of purpose. So it could have been working on yourself. It could have been working on your career, your goals, uh, that type of energy. And with the Ace of Wands, whether you're ready or not, here is the person presenting themselves to you. Now, the energy of the connection or relationship itself is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is ego. For some of you guys, um, if you are still dealing with the person from the past, I feel that there are certain things that are going to be coming up that you're going to be, even if you, as an example, if you recently started dealing with someone, um, and this is a new, like a new beginning, uh, a new romance, a new connection, you're going to start to see certain things um, come up that speaks directly about your past so it could be like experiences or situations that make you feel how you felt a certain way in a past relationship and what they're telling you with the five of swords you need to let go of that type of energy because the five of swords is being combative it also speaks about ego and allowing ego to get the best of you this is um it could be that for some of you guys, you've been dealing with a new person and the ex is coming back around or they're doing certain things to arouse some type of, you know, some type of reaction from you. And what they're telling you is you've outgrown this type of energy, Leo, so don't let it get the best of you. Don't allow them to rain on your parade. Don't allow them to trigger certain trigger points. Perhaps you've experienced certain things in the past relationship. Um, perhaps you haven't completely healed or you haven't completely let go of some type of hurt or resentment. Um, definitely hearing, uh, for some of you guys, this is like, um, it's like the past coming back around right when the stars are aligning for you to start something new. Um, and it's almost like a feeling of universe wants to know. If you're ready to embrace a new beginning, if you're ready to let go of resentment or hurts 
from caused from people from the past and really focus all your energy towards the life that you're trying to manifest. The advice here is the seven of wands. The seven of wands is standing your ground. It is protecting your energy. It is not taking the bait from those that are trying to arouse or create some type of tension, some type of hostility within you. Seven of Wands is knowing that, yes, I've experienced certain things, but I'm not going to allow those things to taint me, uh, to create anger. I'm not going to allow people to get the best of me. Seven of Wands is knowing who you are and standing in that power. That's what they're telling you that you need to do for this month, Leo. And the, the likely outcome here is the Eight of Swords. Okay. So what they're showing me here, Leo, is that for a lot of you guys, it's almost like the universe is aligning to bring to you a new manifestation, a new connection, a new love, um, a new beginning more than anything. But with the Ace of Wands and the Star card, it's like the stars aligning for you. But then we're dealing with this energy of back and forth or bickering or a person from your past trying to go out of their way to trying to get you out of trying to go out of their way to create some type of reaction from you this could be them being petty uh this could be them doing whatever it is that needs to be done to get your attention so it's kind of like when the baby cries or starts throwing a tantrum because they just want attention that type of energy. And what they're telling you is let go of that shit. With the Eight of Swords here, the likely outcome is, again, they're trying to cage you in. They, they're trying to still have some type of control over you. Let go of that. Don't allow people, don't, don't allow people to get you out of character. Because the moment you start reacting, the moment your ego feels like it's hurt, you're going to attack. And when you attack, that means that they still have some type of control over you. Don't let that, don't let that happen. Let go. Let go of that. Move on, Leo. There is new blessings, new beginnings coming towards you. Don't allow people to get the best, the best of you. We have planning ahead. Divine timing is aligned. So again, I feel very heavily for a lot of you Leos out there. There's a lot of new beginnings that are coming your way. Um, yes, you're going to be tested. Yes, people from the past are going to be coming back around, trying to get some type of reaction out of you. Um, stay focused. Stay determined on what you're doing. Stay on your route. Stay on your course. Don't let other people sway you from that. It's about being focused and determined on what it is that you want and going towards it, not settling for anything less, no longer entertaining past energies. Move on from that, Leo. All right? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.